Hey everybody, it's Matt uh, with WideNet. Usually we would be doing a weekly blog, but instead we're going to do a video this week to kind of mix things up. Uh, and the topic we're going to be talking about is print advertising and whether or not it works or still works. It's a question we get a good bit from clients and potential clients and uh, people who just read our content and whatnot. Uh, the answer is not that simple. Um, there is no one answer for this question like most things when it comes to marketing. Uh, it is a yes or a no or a maybe depending a lot on your business situation. Uh, depends on uh, what you're selling, who you're selling to, your target audience, uh, and, and where you are. Uh, when we think about print advertising, you know, we generally think about uh, newspaper ads, uh, direct mail, magazine ads, and those are the three mediums I want to talk about uh, today, uh, starting with newspapers. Um, with newspapers, uh, you know, the circulation is declining, uh, subscriptions are declining, uh, the marketing budgets are being cut left and right, there's less people working for newspapers, uh, the whole industry is kind of uh, going downhill. So in a lot of ways, spending your money on newspaper ads isn't may not be the best way to go. Uh, that said, if your readership, uh, more if your uh, target audience is older people, uh, 50, 65 plus senior citizens, then maybe Maybe it is because that age group are generally the ones that tend to uh, hold on to their newspaper subscriptions and still read the newspaper. Uh, magazines uh, are a little different. Pretty interesting, actually. Uh, they have retained a pretty solid readership uh, over the years, even with younger people and millennials, who are usually seen as you know more digitally focused. But uh, no, the younger people they do like reading magazines, and they actually do respond to uh, magazine ads. Uh, you're going to see that stat if you Google "Do magazine ads work?" You'll see the stats saying, uh, telling you that uh, you know. 60% or something or other of millennials uh, respond to magazine ads. The problem with that statistic is that the word respond doesn't mean uh, conversion. It doesn't mean they bought something. So it means that, <coughs> sure, they responded to it, but they did they go, did they buy anything? They went to the website, but did they actually purchase the product or the service? Um, and we're going to talk a bit more about that in a second. Um, but then you've got you know your direct mail, um, and direct mail is another kind of a crapshoot. It can work, it cannot work depending on uh, especially uh, what you're sending to people. You know, if you're doing like credit card applications, those, uh, you know, they don't work on me. I don't know anybody that they really work on well, but when it comes to uh, uh, coupons for, you know, a store or for, uh, uh, you know, Papa John's or, a, you know, a pizza place or something like that, they actually do work pretty well. So coupons to direct mail, those are print ads, they work, they, they work pretty well. Um, all that said, though, uh, I still think, and a lot of us at WideNet here still think, and always will think, that digital is going to be a better investment uh, of your money no matter what. And the reason is because when you do a print ad, whether you do it on a magazine or newspaper or direct mail or even a billboard, you are essentially putting that ad out there to as many people as possible, hoping that uh, a fraction of them come back and buy uh, your product or service. And so it's you're just sort of casting a big giant net out there hoping to catch a few fish. And that is one of the biggest problems with traditional advertising is there's no real way to gauge how effective you're being except on uh, conversions. With digital, on the other hand, you put your ad out there to your audience and then you can measure um, every little bitty data point that you can possibly think of. And that lets you hone your message and narrow it down until you're sending your message only to the people who are more, most likely to buy what you're selling. So rather than sending it out to 100,000 people and hoping 100 of them come back, you can send it out to 300 people with a really good chance that all 300 of them are actually going to buy that product that you're selling. So at the end of the day, the answer, like we said, print advertising can work. It could work for you if that's uh, if, if your target audience is there and if the location is there, if the product is there. Um, I'm not dissuading you from using it, but at the end of the day, if you're really looking for a better investment of your money, uh, digital is definitely always the way to go. Uh, that's our first video for our blog, um, widenetconsulting.com. If you have any questions, call us, talk to us. We'd love to talk to you.